Hello, this is Justin at The Tech Train here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a green screen video overlay like the one you can see on the screen showing you to subscribe using Microsoft PowerPoint. So before we get started, the first thing I should say is that the green screen video overlay that you saw in the demonstration just now and the one I'm going to create in this video will be available to download for free at patreon.com forward slash the tech train. Thank you so much to those of you who have already signed up and supported this channel. It's really, really appreciated. Um, so if you'd like to download the video files and in fact everything else that I produce on this channel, then head over to patreon.com forward slash the tech train. So let's get started with a new PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to change the layout to blank so that I can start creating. And the one I'm going to do in this video is just simply a subscribe button that says uh, subscribe, first of all, and then a mouse uh, pointer, the hand is going to come in from the bottom, click it, and it will then say subscribed. So that's the, the basic idea. So we're going to start off with a rectangle. So that's the main rectangle there, and we'll fill that with red and we won't bother with an outline. Next, I'm going to add some text. I'm going to do this separately from that button there, so I've got a bit more control, and I'm going to type the word subscribe. I'm going to put that in the middle, change the color of the writing to white, make that quite a lot bigger, like that, and put that somewhere, oops, put that somewhere in the middle, like that. There we go. Um, so that's the first thing. Now what I'm going to do is once I've done that, I'm going to select everything and press Control G to group. And in the Home tab, in the Selection pane, I'm going to rename that group Subscribe. I'm going to call it Red Subscribe, in fact. There we go. Uh, next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the text box and put that outside of this. So let's click. Oops, there we are copy the text box and paste that outside so I can reuse the same font, but this time we're going to change the color of the font to gray. So I'm going to have that as subscribe and then add the D for subscribed. Then I'm going to copy the red box and I'm going to paste that outside and this will actually be white. So I'm going to fill this with white and make sure that that is over the top of the red one. So I'll put that just like that, and then place the text on the top of that. So what we're doing is just simply building up the various layers. Let's bring this to the front, so bring to front. And obviously uh, with the white background, it's a little bit tricky to see. So let's add the green background uh, that we're gonna use with the green screen. So I'm gonna right click and format background. I'm gonna go to solid color and then color. Rather than choosing green there, what we can do is click on more colors and then in the custom we can actually set the red value to zero the blue value to zero green 255 maximum so there is our green screen at the back and now i can just make sure that this text box is nicely centered on top of that white panel now if i click the text box hold down shift and click the white box um, we can then press Control G to group you can see in the selection pane i have my red subscribe group and my group eight so let's change that to white subscribed. Naming groups isn't essential, but it does make it a lot easier when you're adding in animation and things like that later on. Okay, so we have our two parts and you'll see that if I, if I just close up these groups here, if I click the eye on the right and I hide the white subscribed, we've kind of got the, in, in a way, the animation, the, the two things that we want to see. So we're gonna start off with that the mouse pointer will come in, click, and then it'll change to subscribe. So quite simple, but uh, let's see how we can do that. Now we could perhaps draw the mouse pointer, but there's not a lot of point. Um, we can actually grab it from this website here, which is the commons.wikimedia.org. Um, so this is uh, a file that's uh, free to be able to use. You can download this file, I already have. Um, and then if I just drag that file into here, what I want to do is to crop this because it's got the mouse pointer on there as well. So I'm going to crop that so that I get rid of the arrow and just have the hand like that. Just crop that in from the bottom, top and sides. There we are. Click crop to accept. 
And then I'm gonna just rotate that slightly like this. And this is gonna come in, I think it's a little big, so we'll just reduce the size of it slightly like that. So it's gonna come in from the bottom, click, and then we'll change it from the red subscribe to subscribe duh. Okay, so we've got all the bits and pieces in there. I'll just rename the um, hand to mouse pointer. There we are. So we've got our three uh, objects or two groups and an object on here. What we next need to do is to add the animation that we want. So what we want to do is to actually have the white subscribe um, invisible for the moment, or at least it'll appear later on. So it's gonna start off um, not there and then appear. Then we're gonna have the um, hand animation as well. In fact, the other way around, so the hand will come in and then we'll do the white subscribe um, appearing. So let's start off with the hand animation. I'm gonna move the hand um, off the screen to begin with. So it's gonna be off the green screen there. And then I'm going to go to animations and then in the add animation, we'll click on lines in the motion paths. Now that'll start off probably moving the hand in a completely wrong direction. So you can see it's gone down in fact there. Um, you'll see there's a green circle and a red circle. The green is where it starts, the red is where it stops. If I place the mouse over the red circle, you'll see I get a kind of diagonal arrow. I can click and drag, and this is now the mouse pointer as it will appear after the animation. So if I want to click it about there, say, let's, let's click it just underneath the B like that. So now, if I open up the animation panel and I play, you'll see the mouse comes in like that. There we go. Um, and then clicks on subscribe. And then if we wanted to, we could also have that mouse um, removed after that. So what I'll do is click on that and uh, it's already selected there, uh, add an animation and we'll just simply uh, click fade there. So that's faded now. So we've got two animations. At the moment they've both got um, on click selected. So you'll have to click each time. We don't want that, we want them to happen um, sequentially. So I'm gonna change on click to after previous, in fact the first one will be with previous. After that it'll be after previous, like that. So now if I press F5, in comes the mouse and then it disappears. Now in between those two animations of course, we want this um, white subscribe to appear. So if I select the white subscribe group, you can either click it in the slide here or select it in the selection uh, panel on the right here. And then I'm going to um, go to animations, add animation, and this will just simply appear. So we can click appear like that. Again, we want to change the um, way in which it appears from on click to after previous. And then we want to just swap it over. So the first two animations are for the hand. You can see that says mouse pointer and then mouse pointer. So you can see how by renaming the objects in the selection panel, the animation pane becomes a lot easier then to navigate the, the different animations, particularly if you have a very complicated um, animation with lots of different parts. So I've got mouse pointer, mouse pointer, and then white subscribes. So I'm gonna click this one, drag it up and drop it in between the two. So now what we've got is the mouse pointer starts moving, then the um, white subscribed appears, and then the mouse pointer disappears. So if I run this like that, in comes the mouse, click, subscribed, and then the mouse pointer disappears, of course. Um, now at this point, what we can do is have the um, red one disappear, because of course that's now behind the white one. So I'm going to click the red subscribe one and just simply add an animation and use the exit disappear. Again, I'm gonna change that from on click to after previous. And that needs to be at the end, just like that. So that's disappeared. And the only thing left on the screen now will be the white subscribe group. And I'll probably want that to fade out. So I'm gonna click the white subscribe group now, add animation and fade that out. And again, just change the animation from on click to after previous and make sure it's in the right order. So top to bottom, we have the mouse pointer moving in. Then we have the white subscribe group appearing, the mouse pointer fading out, the red subscribe just disappearing. It's not visible anyway, it's behind the white box. And then finally the white subscribe vanishing as well. So if I run this now, you can see in comes the mouse, click, subscribed and fade out. Now the fade out is just a little bit too quick. 
So I actually want the white subscribe fade out to have a bit of a delay before it disappears. So at the top here where I've got delay, I want that to be visible for let's say uh, two seconds. So I'm gonna increase that to two seconds. And then if we run that, subscribe, click, subscribed is there. And then after two seconds, it fades. And there we are. So now we've created the animation that we want. Uh, what we need to do is to save this. So I can start off by saving this just simply as a PowerPoint file. So I can go into my green screen folder and I'll just save this as um, subscribe animation like that. Oops, I've already named the subscribe animation once. That was a demonstration earlier on. Uh, there you are, subscribe animation two. Um, now, once we've done that, we need to save as, and this time what we're gonna do is not save it as a PowerPoint presentation. If we click on this save as type, you'll see that we have MPEG-4 listed as a video file. So we're gonna choose that one and then save. And that's it. In fact, at this point, we now have, if I drag my working folder across to here, um, you can see that I've got um, the subscribe animation two as a video file. Uh, this is the video file I used earlier on in the demonstration. And if I just double click this uh, file here, you'll see that it is a video file. It's currently playing um, the, the video in my default video playing program. So how do we now get that into a video? Well, of course, it depends how you edit your videos. Um, I tend to use um, Adobe Premiere, but uh, there are lots of different programs you can use. At my school, we actually have OpenShot Video Editor, which is completely free, and that does support green screen, and it works quite well. So what I'll do now is demonstrate how to uh, use this as a green screen video in video editing. If you don't need to see this bit because you already know how to edit and you just wanted to know how to create the green screen video file, well, thank you very much. You don't have to stay around for the next bit. Uh, but before you go, don't forget, of course, the whole point of this is to remind you and remind everybody else to subscribe and of course link uh, sorry like the video as well if you found this useful uh, don't forget you can download this video file and all the other ones from patreon.com forward slash the tech train uh, but if you like and comment and share and subscribe then it really does help this channel so thank you very much indeed um, right, so for those of you who'd like to see how to edit this uh, in a video program, let's start off. I'm going to open up uh, Adobe Premiere and then create a new video file. Now I'm just going to use a stock bit of video footage, which I actually get from uh, videoblocks.com. It's a subscription-based um, website, uh, but I use them for, for some of the stock footage and for the audio as well. So let's just open up Premiere Pro and drag in the two files we need. So it'll just ask us for a new video file. So let's have new project. And I'll save this in the green screen folder as demo two. And once it's opened this uh, new project up, we'll drag in the green screen and the stock video footage. Any second now, it'll be ready. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is drag in the subscribe animation two and the stock video file into this box at the bottom here, which is my uh, sort of project folder here with all the different bits and pieces. So there it is. So I've got this video file here, which is the uh, stock, <coughs> excuse me, stock video file um, that uh, you saw at the beginning with a classroom situation. There we are. So I'll just zoom out a little bit uh, on this one zoom in rather. Uh, so if I play this, you can see it's a, a basic piece of footage of a classroom like that. And to add a green screen on top of this, what I'm going to do is grab the video I made just a moment ago, this subscribe animation two, and I'm going to put this on the track just above the video file like this. Now at the moment, of course, if I was to run this, there's the, the classroom, and then we get our video, but of course we now can't see the classroom behind. The green screen completely blocks it. So what we have to do is add a green screen um, effect to this. So in other words, everything that's green is going to be deleted. It's gonna be invisible. So I'm gonna select this uh, clip here, the subscribe animation two, and in the effects panel over here, I'm just gonna search for the word ultra and it's ultra key that we're looking for. So once I search for ultra, there's ultra key, and I'm gonna drag and drop this effect onto this subscribe animation two clip like that. 
Now in the effect controls window, which uh, on my screen is over here on the left, it's probably in that rough area on your screen. Um, I'm going to scroll down and you'll see we've got key color and there's a little eyedropper just next to it. Click on that and then click anywhere, <clears throat> excuse me, on the green background that we've chosen over here. Click and there we are. It's now gone. And if I scrub forwards and backwards through here, you can see we get the uh, the buttons and, and the mouse and everything, but not the green screen. Now it's a little bit big, a bit in your face. So I think probably we need to make that a bit smaller. So again, with this clip selected and in the effects control, it's gonna to scroll towards the top and just click on the word position. Um, and that now puts little dots around the corners and edges of this video clip. And if I grab the bottom left corner, I can simply move that in and resize it and then perhaps move that further down towards the bottom like that. So now if I run this uh, video file here, there's our subscribe button, in comes the mouse, click, change it to subscribed, and then after two seconds it fades out. And there we are. So I could now export this uh, video file um, and uh, that green screen would work. So it's as simple as that. So you can create um, really good animated green screen video overlays for any kind of video, whether it be subscribe, whether it be click the notification bell, whether it be like a video. Um, and of course, if you're using other social media, you might want to encourage people to click the uh, like or heart or whatever it might be. And that's it. So uh, don't forget that if you want to download the video files you've seen in this tutorial, just head over to, um, if I just minimize that, there we are, patreon.com forward slash the tech train, where you can download the video files for free. And if you found this useful and uh, you enjoyed the video, do please give it a like. That would be very, very welcome. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do so that you know when new videos are launched. I do aim to upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday Thursday, five o'clock UK time, that's 11 in the morning central time. Thank you very much indeed for watching. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, do leave them below. I do read all comments and I do aim to reply as soon as I can to all comments as well. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.